Hi everyone and welcome back to Chef Seats. Today we're going to be making another late summer classic, heirloom tomato salad. Now, of course you could get tomatoes year round, but if you just wait till around August time and you get your heirloom tomatoes then, that's the perfect season. And just like always, only thing we're going to need are a few simple ingredients. So let's get started. First I'd just like to grab the endive and trim it up into quarters. Just lie it down and slice it in half, followed by one more half simple quarters. This is going to give the really sweet tomatoes a nice bitter crunch and texture to the dish. Next we're going to need to core all of our tomatoes. So just simply to follow, stick your knife in an angle towards the core and slightly slight surround it. Be very careful not to go through and be careful with your hands. There you go, just a nice simple circle. Now do this with all the tomatoes. It's going to help speed up the process while trimming them up. And we could cut these however we like. I'm just going to slice this in half and cut it in half again. Now when slicing our heirloom tomatoes, have fun and cut them however you like. See, I'm just cutting them this way, that way, any which way. Just There's no reason or rhyme for it, just however we like to. These are so juicy and so plump at this time of the year. This big yellow one's my favorite actually, because we can actually cut fun different shapes out of it. Cut the end just for a little dome piece. Cut these guys up. It's nice. These large tomatoes like this, you could eat them just as a sandwich as it is. Little tomato sandwich. There you go, here, cut there. Any way we choose to do it. I like cutting it in different designs because it makes the plates more creative as well. Look how beautiful these tomatoes are perfect time of the year as well. Next we can start slicing our chives. Very thin slices are nice. Make sure our knives are nice and sharp when we're cutting our herbs as well. There we go. Nice fluid motion. Chives followed by our basil. Same exact motion, just like rocking a knife. There we are. Be careful keeping our fingers back. There we are. Now we can jump on our shallots. Slicing everything nice and thin. It's all going to be incorporated together and marinating all these flavors. Now that we have all this ready, let's go ahead and mix all of our ingredients. First we need a mixing bowl. The mixing bowl goes with tomatoes. Just like that. And after the tomatoes, a splash of our red wine vinegar some of our extra virgin olive oil. This is just going to start marinating and infusing all the flavors into it. Some lemon zest. Using my favorite little microplane, which you guys always see me use. Our basil, which we just cut up fresh. Some shallots, which we also just cut. And our chives. Last but not least, our endive. Also known as Whitloff. That's what the Aussies say. Whitloff, mate. And make sure that we season. Seasoning is very, very important. Everything that we do. Some salt and some fresh ground black pepper. There you go. Mind you, you could also add more seasoning later if you like. And let's just give it a nice gentle toss. It's best to eat these tomatoes at room temperature also. So if you bought these from a store and for some reason they were refrigerated, Allow it to set for about 30 minutes. This will also help all the flavors to infuse and marinate and get all nice and happy. So after 30 minutes, you know what time it is, time to plate up. So we get our tomatoes, place them sporadically, a little here, a little bit there. And look at the beautiful colors that we have with these heirloom tomatoes. The different varieties, it's so nice. Get that guy out of there. And now we could also like try to build this up a little bit. You notice I left the stem on that guy? That's totally fine. Grab it like a little handle. Shove the end dive here. Shove another piece inside of there. Now we could try to get a little creative with the dish and have fun with it. I hope you notice all these different shapes and sizes with the tomatoes. See, it shows you don't have to have good knife skills when you're doing this. Just cut it however you like. Now we just top it off with a little bit of burrata. Touch here. A touch there. I'm just ripping it in pieces and just placing it all around his plate. If you ever had a tomato mozzarella salad, I highly suggest that you try the burrata instead. 
this burrata just takes this dish to a whole nother level. Of course we need to finish off with our fresh basil leaves. Just make it rain on top of it. Scatter it all over the place. Have fun with it. After the basil leaves, a little seasoning and olive oil to finish. Well folks, there you have it. Our heirloom tomato salad. Perfect for the late summer. And remember, eating with the seasons is the best way to eat. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and here it is as following. I'm really excited to hear about any changes or how it all turned out for you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.